In this video, we're going to go through how to create a report. We're going to select the Table Pets Query from the left-hand column of Access. You're going to select the top tab, Create, from the ribbon. Then we're going to go to the Report Wizard to create a report based off of our Table Pets Query. It's going to automatically choose Table Pets Query because we have selected it before clicking on the Report Wizard. We're going to click the double arrow button to move all available fields into all selected fields, and then we're going to hit Next. We want to view our data by Table Pets, so we're going to hit Next. We're going to add grouping levels by owner last name, and then we're going to hit Next we can sort up to four fields. So we're going to initially sort by owner last name, which it's doing automatically, then owner first name, and then we will sort by pet name. And then we're going to hit Next. We're going to choose Landscape Orientation and a Block Layout. We want to make sure Adjust the Field Width so all fields fit on a page is selected and then we'll hit Next. We're going to title the report Our Name Dash Pets. And then we're going to choose to preview the report and hit Finish. Because it's based on a parameter query, it will always ask you when you run the report what kind of pet. We're going to type in Dog. This looks all right, but I want to mess with the formatting a little bit. So I want to change my access here. I want to go to the report and change my view to layout view. And this doesn't quite fit nicely on one page, but it should be able to. So we're going to check each field and make sure it's an appropriate width. Now here I don't like the way this is arranged, so we can actually go into the design on this. We can move this whole field over a little bit so it's not running into the dog field. Or to the kind of pet field. There, I didn't like those that close to each other kind of pet. doesn't need to be that big, and we can sort of center that. You can use your arrow keys to be a little more precise. And that means that we can take the breed. And you'll notice when it gets in alignment, the double black arrows will show up. And I'm using my arrow key to move things over. one, move that over, and now everything fits nicely on one page. I can go into my view, print preview, it should look nice on one page there, and then we have the option to export to a text file, which we're going to do. We're going to save it as a plain text file. You can save it on your desktop and go ahead and check Open the Destination File after the export operation is complete, and hit OK. And use the default. And this comes in as a plain text file. The alignment basically stays, but we've lost most of the formatting. Let's try it in a different way. Let's send it to PDF. That'll give us a better looking file. Open file after publishing, and we're going to choose minimum size, options, and that all looks good, so we're going to hit publish. All right, that's what I'm looking for. If you don't have 
Acrobat installed, you might not have the PDF option, in which case you can hand in the text file. Otherwise, I'd prefer that you hand in the PDF file. So you can hand in either of the files that you exported for this section. You don't need to hand in both.